Hi, I'm Angelica Pulcini Scruggs, and I'm the Associate Director of the Crest Center here at the University of Central Florida. This week in our tip series, Technology and Innovation in Practice, I have one of our very special guests, Dr. Deeker. Hi, nice to see you, Angelica. Nice you. Great, and I'm excited to be here to share a little bit about accessibility. Wonderful. So can you share with us something that you use that's um, helpful with accessibility on your, your cell phone that you were just telling me about? Yeah, so I'm excited to share with you that a device parents or teachers should be thinking about is that every device that you buy after the passage of the Americans with Disabilities Act has built-in features um, under accessibility. So I'm going to keep it really simple and just show you here on my phone. Under settings, you click on the general, and once you get to general, there's this little thing that's on every device called accessibility features. And so under accessibility features, there's lots of things that I could be using in my classroom, with my children, in life in general. Great. So did you have to pay for these features? Yep. Built into every device that you might purchase. And again, I think it's kind of a hidden treasure we often yeah. don't look for. So it's not just for Apple devices. No, it's for any device. It's part of the compliance for Americans with Disabilities Act. And it, my phone will read to me, um, and any voice to text, text to speech. I can actually adapt the way that I swipe. I can actually have it help me look at my face and see if I'm paying wow. attention. So lots of free things, and they add new things all the time. That's great. So how would you use this in your classroom? if you were a teacher. Yeah, so as a classroom teacher, what I would do is actually, if I have a student who couldn't read something, teach them how to turn on the accessibility features themselves. If I give them a digital assignment, if they're struggling with manipulating the screen, I would show them features that they can do to slow down the mouse swipe. And again, I wouldn't teach them myself. I would let the class do a discovery activity of what are the accessibility features and how could we all use them in our class. That's a great idea. Thank you so much for joining us this great. week. Thank you.